thing to have is a Black's Law Dictionary. It's about this thick. This is the dictionary that the lawyers use, and it has legal definitions of words in it. And when you use it to look up words, you find out really interesting stuff. Uh, person. The word person. The definition of person is a corporate fiction. Black's Law also tells us that the only person known to Canadian law is the corporation. And that's interesting. Human is another interesting word. It appears nowhere in the Bible, but you look up the definition of human in Black's Law, and it says, see monster. And so you flip to monster, and you look up the definition for monster, and it says, one that cannot own or inherit property. Now, all governments have human resource departments, and all corporations have human resource departments. Isn't that interesting? Job is another interesting definition. Job is defined as public business for private dishonest gain is the definition of job. And then we look at employ, the root word of employment, right? Well, employ is two words basically, M, E-M, which means for. Employ is deceit. So employ is for deceit. Employment, it's for deceit. And job is official, that's it. Job is official public business for private dishonest gain. Now, where are we going with all these definitions? Because they sound kind of bad to me. Those, 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 those words, now that I know what they really mean, those words don't sound good. They, they sound bad to me. Well, we know that to get a job, you need a sin. You need a social insurance number. Or you can't get a job. You can't be employed. Well, now that I know what a job means, and now that I know what employ means, I don't really know if I want either of those things. But I've been spending some time on this journey acquiring documents, legal documents, from the Registrar General. Registrar General, doesn't that sound like military? That doesn't sound too good to me.